The new iOS 26.1 brings a ton of new features and improvements to iOS 26. Of course, it being the first big update to iOS 26, it is actually quite exciting. A lot of new features, a lot of improvements, and a lot of stuff we have actually asked for for a really long time. So in today's video, we're taking a look at more new features of iOS 26.1, a lot of hidden features that the most users actually won't even know about. So let's go ahead and take a look at 10 hidden features of the new iOS 26.1. But before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are still not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel a lot. Now we're starting things off with the lock screen. As you can see, I have music playing right here. But what's really cool with the lock screen on iOS 26.1 is that if you're using the full screen album art, when you swipe right here to unlock your device, you can see the album art will actually stay in its place. Previously, when you would swipe, it would also swipe away the album art, but now it just sits there and it looks actually really, really cool. Much better than the previous iOS 26 or 26.0.1. This actually looks much better and it's actually like it has that really cool effect while sliding to unlock your device. And not just that, it will even stay in the background while you're unlocking your device. If you're using the passcode, you can see how cool that is. So, of course, once you go here to unlock, it will stay there and you will be able to enter your passcode while having that awesome album art in the background. Moving on into the settings app. Now we have here a small feature, but a really nice touch. You can just see here how much Apple does pay attention to details on their software. So if we go under sounds and haptics, you can notice here we have the silent mode. Now every switch that you have on the settings on your iOS device, when you turn it on, you can see it turns green, but not the silent mode. When you turn it on, it will actually turn red, meaning that you have actually turned on silent mode and your device is on silent mode. And of course, it also matches the little icon for silent mode, a very little but very nice touch. And something that is actually very hard to notice if you're using iOS 26.1 and not having also a device on iOS 26 side by side to compare them, the animations have changed throughout iOS 26.1. Now I'm talking about these pop-ups right here. So we have these things here that will pop up like this little table. In this case, we have here the airdrop and this animation is actually much smoother now and it's very different from the one on iOS 26. This is more like the ones that we have seen on iOS 26 while it was on the first beta and was actually introduced at WWDC 2025. So all these little animations when popping up like different menus will look much different. Moving into the iMessage app, so we have also a smaller detail right here that has been updated, but it looks really nice. When you go to send a message and you want to send a picture, if you tap the plus button right here, you get the camera option and you can see now it has updated the camera icon for messages. Now this now will be the exact same one that you also see on your home screen. So you can see it does match the icon for the camera on the home screen of your iOS 26.1 device. Now Apple has made quite a lot of really interesting and very necessary updates to the Photos app with iOS 26.1. And here's one that I really like and I think is actually very useful. So if I go ahead and select the picture right here, you can see I can tap the share button and use it as a wallpaper. But if I now choose multiple photos, you can see we have a new option right here to actually create a shuffle wallpaper. Now the same will happen like if I go ahead and select multiple photos from the menu up there. Once I tap the share button, you can see now we have the, the option here to create a shuffle wallpaper, but in this case, it shows right there at the top. So basically select multiple pictures and use them as shuffle wallpapers for your device. 
Moving on into the calculator app, we also have a small change right here. We have now a new and updated icon for the history of your calculator. If you use the calculator, the default calculator app of iOS, you know that you can access the history of all your calculations right there at the top left corner. And now it does have a new icon. Another change on the home screen. Well, we have actually here a couple of changes. First of all, the blur, the like liquid glass effect on the dock has changed a lot and now it's it basically has like more blur it's more liquid glass if you can say it that way and you will notice it again when comparing it with an device on ios 26 and also the like little shine the little glow whatever you want to call it that you see around the icons has actually also changed now it goes almost all the way around the icon and in my opinion it looks more aesthetic even though that was previously on ios 26 looked like a, a bit better because it would like shine more had that like the color was more you could see it more basically on the home screen now it's a bit a little subtle but it also just goes all the way almost all the way around the icon as you can notice right there at the messages icon moving on to safari and we have a couple of changes here as well basically the changes are right here at the bottom if you're using the bottom bar as the layout for your safari you will notice a couple of changes here first of all this table that you see right here the bottom bar is now much wider and it fits much better with the corners of your iphone also you can see everything on the website that comes to here it goes under the address bar it will actually be now blurred out so you can see right there it will blur that out previously it didn't do that now everything will be blurred out giving you a much better and easier way to look at everything here and not just like interrupting you with everything that is going here under the address bar and last but not least when viewing your screenshots on the photos app of ios 26 you will now have a new view basically you have a full view of your screenshot now previously on 26 it would basically just cover the parts of the screenshots at the top and at the bottom with all the UI elements. Now it just shrinks it a bit down here to the middle of the screen and everything is right there outside of the view of your screenshot, making it, of course, very easy for you to view your screenshots and every details that are on your screenshots. In my opinion, a very, very good move by Apple. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are more than 10 new hidden features and changes that you will be able to find on the new ios 26.1 again this has been a great update we have a lot of new features a lot of changes that are very welcome to ios 26 but overall also the update when it comes to performance and battery life is pretty good so a really welcome first update to ios 26 and it looks like apple will continue with this as ios 26.2 is currently on its first beta and it looks amazing some of the features that apple has added are actually really cool and we can't wait to see what more will apple add to ios 26 with the new ios 26.2 so that's basically it again thank you guys for watching the video leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one